Ngayon naman ay magsasagot tayo ng mga probability questions involving normal distribution. Sa pagkagamit ng normal distribution, gagamit tayo ng z-table sa pagkuha ng area under the normal curve. So, yung uh, pagbasa o paggamit ng table kailangan alam nyo para makuha natin yung probability nitong mga problem na nandito sa uh, board natin ngayon. So, yung una nating word problem, the GPAs of all students enrolled at a large university have an approximately normal distribution with a mean of 3.05 and a standard deviation of 0.27. Now we need to find the probability that the mean GPA of a random sample of 20 students selected from this university will be 1, 2, and 3. Yung una nating probability is that yung um, random sample na 20 or yung uh, probability ng sample na ito ay ang GPA daw nila is less than or equal to 2.98 Yung pangalawa naman, greater than 3.01, at yung pangatlo, in between 2.9 and 3.07. Ang una natin gagawin, syempre, is kunin yung information na kailangan natin sa pag-solve ng probability na ito. At sa pagkuha ng probability na ito, kailangan natin yung population mean, yung population standard deviation, at in this case, yung sample size. So, gagamitin natin siya dito sa tatlong problems na to So, ito na yung atin mu sigma at saka yung standard I mean yung sample size na 20. So ang una nating gagawin is to illustrate yung probability ng problem number 1. So yung number 1 we need to find the probability na yung sampling distribution daw or your mean and sampling distribution is less than or equal to 2.98. Mahalaga na ka, na illustrate nyo yung bell shape curve nitong problem na to para ma-visualize nyo yung area under the curve na kinukompute natin. Wherein yung gitna is yung population mean which is 3.05 at yung 2.98 naman is below the mean. So let's say it's somewhere here. Ito yung ating 2.98. At kailangan daw natin makuha yung probability na yung mga estudyante, yung GPA nila will be less than or equal to 2.98. So to the left of the curve. So, ang una natin gagawin, kung gagamitin natin yung table of values, is kunin yung z-score para mas standardize natin yung ating mga values. So, yung z-score formula is x minus mu all over sigma. So, yan yung standard formula ng pagkuha ng z-score. Pero since meron tayong sample size na 20, yung z-score formula natin, kailangan natin i-modify sa sampling distribution, and it will be x minus mu all over sigma divided by the square root of n. So, ito yung med modified formula natin kapag ka kumukuha tayo ng probability ng sampling distribution. So, by substitution, x is 2.98 minus mu of 3.05 all over sigma of 0.29 divided by the square root of n, which is 20. So, yan yung unang step natin. Kukunin natin yung z-score nitong problem natin. So, using our calculator para mas mabilis. So, 2.98 minus 3.05 divided by 0 0.29 all over the square root of 20. So, ang z-score natin is negative 1.08. So, ito yung z-score na gagamitin natin. So, kukunin natin yung area under the curve niya. So, kung gagamitan natin ng bagong illustration itong ating area under the curve, so since na-standardized natin na siya, yung mean niya ay 0 or yung average is 0 at ito naman yung negative 1.08. At ito yung kukunin natin. So, parehas lang siya. Ang kaibahan nga lang, ito is gamit natin yung standard normal curve. So, ano ngayon yung area na ito using 
itong table of values natin. So, ang z-score natin is negative 1.08. So, sa paggamit nito, kukunin nyo yung negative z-scores here at yung mga horizontal value, yung, yung, yun naman yung decimal. So, since sinahanap natin is negative 1.08, so we'll use negative 1.0 on the first column. Negative 1.0 is somewhere here, sa baba, at 0 0.08. So, from negative 0 0.1, 0 0.08 will be somewhere here. So, yung intersection niya, ang kukunin natin. So, 0 0.08, negative 1.0 is giving us 0 0.1401. So, 0.1401. So, ito ngayon yung area under the curve. So, ibig sabihin, approximate yung value ng region na ito is about 14.01%. So, kung sasagutin natin yung tanong, yung probability ngayon, yung probability na yung mean GPA ng random sample na 20 students ay less than 2.98 ay 14.01% lang. So, ngayon naman, sagutin natin yung problem number 2. At yung problem number 2, kailangan natin kunin yung probability na yung mean GPA naman ay greater than 3.01. So, probability number 3 na yung sample mean or yung mean GPA is greater than 3.01. So, approximately normal pa rin yung distribution. Gitna niya is 3.05 so 3.01 is less than the average so let's say ito yung 3.01 at kailangan nating hanapin yung area to the right of 3.01 so ito ngayon yung kailangan natin so ano ngayon yung area under the curve ng value ng 3.01 so una natin gagawin syempre is hanapin yung z-score which is given by x minus mu all over the standard deviation of the sample so alam natin yung x is 3.01 yung mean ay 3.05 at yung sigma is 0 0.29 divided by the square root of 20 so gamit uli yung calculator so, 3.01 minus 3.05 divided by 0 0.29 over square root of 20 will give us negative 0.61. So, or point negative 0.62. So, you round that in. So, negative... 0 0.62 so yung z-score natin ito yung 0 ito yung let's say negative 0 0.62 so alam natin na yung area under the curve should be greater than 50% so a little bit greater than 50% so using our table of values again so since a negative ulit siya so ito yung mga negative values negative 0 0.62 so hahanapin natin negative 0 0.6 so this is negative 0 0.6 at yung 0 0.02 na idadagdag natin would be somewhere here so if we're going to use this ito yung 0, 0 0.01 and 0 0.02 so sa third column siya so 0 0.6 so we'll see we're seeing here 0.2676 So, yung area niya is 0 0.26. 0.2676. Now, itong table of values natin, tandaan nyo na yung area na binibigay niya is always area to the... Uh, left of the curve. So, since nakapapansin nyo, 26 
0.76% hindi nagtutugma dito sa area ng region natin, alam natin ang kukunin natin is yung complement ng value na binibigay sa atin ng table natin. So, to find the area under the curve, yung area na gagamitin natin para sa mga greater than symbol will be 1 minus 0.2676. So, yun yung complement ng area natin. So, 1 minus 0.2676 is giving us 0.7324. So, 0.7324, yan yung area na hinahanap natin at hindi yung area na binibigay sa atin nung Z-table. Kasi yung Z-table, lagi niyang ibibigay sa inyo yung area to the left of the curve, pero ang hinahanap natin is yung area to the right of the curve or yung complement niya. So, yung probability ngayon, na yung mean GPA nung 20 sample na greater than 3.01 ay 73.24%. So, yan yung problem number 2 using the table. Now, yung problem number 3 naman, we need to find the area under the curve between 2.9 and 3.07. So, gamit uli yung table of values. So, probability of 2.90 in between, I mean, x bar in between 2.90 and 3.07. So, sa normal curve, yung gitna natin is 3.05, 2.90 is somewhere here. Let's say it's here. At yung 3.07 is a little a little over 3.05. So, 3.07. So, ito ngayon yung area na hinahanap natin. So, ang pagkuhan naman natin ngayon, since yung area under the curve, lagi, siyang bini, lagi niyang binibigay, ang lagi binibigay sa atin nung Z-table, ay area to the left. So, kukunin muna natin yung area ng 2.9 at yung area ng 3.07 and then isasubtract natin siya para makuha natin yung intersection ng line. So, kukunin muna natin yung Z score ng 2.90 which is X bar or X minus mu all over sigma all over squared of N. So, using the formula Ang x natin is 2.9 minus 3.07, I mean 3.05, divided by um, sigma of 0.29 over square root of 20. Ang z-score niya is negative 2.31 negative 2.31 So, kunin natin yung area ng negative 2.31 So, negative 2.31 This is negative 2.3 Negative 2.31 is here So, 0 0.0104 0 0.0104 0 0.0104 0 0.0104 So, yan yung area 1, yung area naman ng 3.07 using the formula again, x minus mu all over sigma square root of n will give us a value of um, 3.07 minus 3.05 divided by Point twenty um point twenty nine divided by the square root of twenty. Meron siyang area or z score na point three zero eight so point thirty one so zero point thirty one. So yung area ng point zero thirty one should be bigger than area of negative 2.31. So, since positive siya at itong side na to ay puro negative, kukunin natin yung isang page na merong mga positive values ng z-score. 
so 0 0.31, so 0 0.3. 1. So, ito yung area na hahanapin natin. 0. 0.6217. So, 0. 0.6217. Ito yung area 2. So, sa makatwid, yung area nito is 0. 0.0104 at yung area naman nito is 0.6217 ang hinahanap natin is area in between nitong Z1 at Z sub 2 so para makuha natin yung intersection so subtract natin ito at ito so makukuha natin yung gitna so we'll have 0.6217 one seven minus point zero one zero four which will give us an area of point six one one three so ibig sabihin yung area under the curve yung probability na yung mean GPA is in between two point nine at 3.07 i 61.13% At yan yung pagkuha ng uh, probability using the t-table or z-table